Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Njambi Rono. I am a developer advocate at Open Knowledge International. And in this video, I will be showing you how to check your tabular data sets for errors in the command line. Uh, we will be using one of the tools developed under the Frictionless Data Project to help you improve the quality of your data. And this tool is called Gutable CLI, and CLI here just stands for Command Line Interface. So Gutable CLI allows you to run validation checks on your tabular data sets so you can quickly identify where the errors are and it gives you prompts um, to fix them yourself. So to run good tables in your command line, the first thing you need to do is have Python 3 and pip installed. And um, in case you do not have those yet, um, you can head on over to the Jungle, Jungle Girls website. Um, they have this wonderful tutorial on installing Python 3. And that comes with pip, which is a package manager for Python. Um, so you might also want to refresh um, your knowledge of the command line and Django Girls again has a wonderful tutorial on the command line interface so you can just run your refresher there and um, it's also friendly for beginners. Um, so once you've installed your Python 3 and it comes with pip, and um, refreshed your knowledge of command line, um, the first thing you need to do is install the tables. So we're going to head, go ahead and install the tables. And um, I had pre-installed it and, and and installed it for this example. So we already have it installed. And then the next thing you might want to do is quickly run um, the help command to um, find out what's possible, what good tables is about and what is possible with good tables. Um, so as you can see below, um, the commands that are available to you are validate and init, and you're going to see how each of these commands work. Um, so because validate is the default um, command, you don't need to type it in. Um, so you can just write good tables and then navigate to where your uh, data set that you intend to check for errors um, is. And this command will simply be enough to, this command will simply be enough to run valid, simple validation checks on your data. Um, so for the example that I'm using, I'm working with a color code um, data set that I scraped earlier and um, whose link is available in the description box as well. So you can have a look and run these tests um, even as you learn how to use good tables. Um, so as you can see, um, I have run simple checks on my data and it tells me I have zero errors for now and it took 91 milliseconds to run um, the checks on my data and I have one table and it gives me details about my table. Um, it tells me I have the six columns and these are their names and that I have um, 1110 rows um, and this is excluding the header row so it will be 1111 rows. Um, and it tells me that my table is valid among other things. Um, so that's a very simple validation check. Um, so it's checked my, my table and given me back information um, about the validity um, of, my, of my data set. So one thing that um, this has done is it's checked my data um, for very simple things such as whether my CSV file loads correctly, um, does it have blank rows or duplicate rows, does it have um, an equal number of columns for every row there is or is there an additional unexpected column at any point. So it's just run very simple structural checks. But sometimes you want to do more than that. You might want to run checks on the content that is in your table. So we'll append the infer schema option uh, to our good tables uh, validation command. 
And what this does is it asks good tables to check a small sample of our data and tell us what data types are to be expected in each column. Uh, this way, good tables can check for content errors in addition to the structural errors that it picked up before. Um, so as you can see in the good tables pi um, GitHub repository, these are some of the content checks that it runs. Um, so it checks for things like an extra or a missing header or a header that doesn't match um, with the content that, that's in that's in a specific field and other types of things. Um, so while inferring works beautifully, um, it is important that we describe our data set structure and its contents and save this description in a file, um, which we will then share alongside our data set so that whoever accesses our data set also gets the necessary context that they need um, which will be in, in the description file that we share. Um, so with GoodTable CLI, um, it is possible to generate um, a simple schema that you can then edit. And I think generating a schema is something we'll agree that um, is helpful rather than creating one from scratch. Um, so using the GoodTables init command that we saw earlier, um, earlier on when we ran uh, good tables help, uh, we can generate a simple schema for a data set. And as you can see, it generates one in JSON format, um, and then you can easily save this and edit things like the name um, of your data set, and you can um, edit out things like the data type. Um, so it's inferred data types um, against each field. And you can change this in case they are not uh, registered correctly. So I will quickly jump over to what my final edited um, schema looks like. So you have an idea. And here it is. Um, so I changed things like the name um, of, of, my, of my data set, uh, of my data resource, and I added other details um, in here. And you can add things like constraints um, to specify um, which, uh, how each field should be treated. Um, so maybe that you want um, for your data set to be checked so that in certain fields um, only positive numbers are accepted or only emails um, are an acceptable input and things like that. So once you have generated your schema, uh, you might want to save it locally so that you can um, edit it and add um, add things like constraints against your fields to it. And this command allows us to um, generate a schema and then save it to a file called datapackage.json. Um, and this JSON file also forms the basic building block of uh, what we call a data package in frictionless data. And a data package allows you to put your collections of data and associated contextual information, uh, which is contained in this schema file in one place uh, before you share it. And I will add a link um, to a resource that will help you read more about data packages and understand what they are and how to work with them. Um, so a big plus to using the good tables command line tool um, is the ease with which you can incorporate this tool to your data workflow. All you need to do is to fire up terminal and install good tables if you haven't installed it yet or if you have you just need to run the good tables commands um, on your files um, that you would like to validate. And that's it for now. You are now set. Um, you have validated your, your data set. And data validation is especially important because it helps improve the quality of your data set. And Good Tables powers that validation process. Um, so there are other tools um, in the Good Table spectrum that run um, on the web and one allows you to run um, validation sim similar to what you've done here in command line 
online and I will link to it. It's called Trigo Tables. And the second one allows you to run continuous checks um, on data sets that are either stored on GitHub or Amazon S3. So we will link to those and you can learn more about them in other videos um, that we share here as well. Thank you for your time.